Come on, throw in a buck. Uh-uh, I don't tip. You don't tip? No, I don't believe in it. You don't believe in tipping? Do you know what these chicks make? They make shit. Don't give me that. She don't make enough money, she can quit. Tipping. Like, when you go to a restaurant, do you tip? Don't you tip? How much are you supposed to tip? <laughs> what's, the, what's the rule? Well, I think 15% is what the, uh, the general rule of tipping. Uh, when you go to 15%. 15%. In North America. In North America. But yeah. in Europe, yeah. or the Middle East, as far as I know, right. you go into a restaurant, yeah. and the tipping, the service, is already included in the bill. In the bill, which I like. I you do like that? I think that's the better system. Why is that? Okay. I think it's the better system because you uh, eliminate the headaches on both sides. Where basically, let's say you're a server in a restaurant. You work in a restaurant, right? Someone comes in, they're from out of town. They don't understand the typical rules. They don't really get it, right? And they sniff you because they think it's already in the bill. They're, they're not really sure. But if it's in the bill, it's already taken care of. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Yeah, but how about if the service is no good? <laughs> That's the interesting point, right? If the tipping is included in the bill, I believe that the managers, the owners of the restaurant, need to work even harder to get the best people possible so that that situation does not happen where the service is bad. Because there are some sloppy servers yeah. in Montreal who have half acid, uh, you know, excuse my expression, um, and expect 15 or 20 percent. And then when they don't get it, they, they're disappointed. But they gave bad service. But who determined this amount, 15 percent? I don't know. Where does that come from? That's a good question. Like, who said 15? Why is it not 12 or why is it not 20? Yeah. I'll tell you how I work out tips. I go to. I don't like when it's included. Okay. You know, I, I've been in Italy many times, and a lot of the, they call it a service. Right. But you know what? If you're not happy with the service, why should you give 15 percent? If you're happy, I'd like to give 25 percent. Right. Give whatever you so the way I work it out is, in Canada, the rule is 15%. We agree that's been established 15%. If the service is not included and you're not getting a good service. I've been to restaurants where you're sitting there all night. You're not even asked if you want more water, if you like coffee. Only at the end can I bring you the bill. That person doesn't even deserve 15%. At that point, I'll bring it down to 10%. Yeah, but I think if it's in the bill, it's going to force... Hopefully, it's going to no. force the owners and managers to get better staff. No, I don't think so, because I think if it's in the bill, the waiter or waitress knows that situation. I'm going to get my 15%. Now, if I do a good job or a bad job, I'm only going to get 15% anyway. Yeah, but hold on a second. If, that, if you, the customer, in that situation, if you, the customer, in that situation, complain to the, to the owner, to the manager, and complaints start coming for that same service, that service will lose their job. Yes, but then you, what happens to your 15%? Do you think that the owner's going to say, I'm going to waive the 15%, it's included? I like the yeah, fact in that... in that case, the customer's going to get a bit screwed. But, what, but we're <laughs> talking way. service. What's good service? You go to a restaurant, what do you expect? You sit down. Good morning. Hi, how are you? What would you like? I just like, you know, that the, the person serving you pays attention once in a while. I know that they've got maybe seven, eight, nine, ten tables to worry about, but a good waiter, waitress, can handle that easily. So, would you like more water, sir? Can I get you something else? How's your food? These are just courtesy remarks that at the end might mean you getting 20% instead of 15 I've given 20 25%. I've had waiters that come up to you and say, can I get you something else? Is the food okay? Can I get you more bread? You need more butter, olive oil? You know what? He paid attention to me, so I will gladly give that person 20, 25%. Yeah, he's serving you. He's serving you, and you know what? Why 15? So, but I've been to restaurants where I even feel bad leaving 10% because the service has been bad. But do younger people tip well? Uh, I mean, I have server empathy because I've been a waiter for like so many, so many years on and off while I was doing waiting projects. So because I've developed that empathy for the server, I also, I also know a good server from a bad server because I've been one. So I'm even more attentive to watch it. But if you're doing a good job, I'll definitely. No, but I mean in terms of the demographics, well. demographics. I think older people, let's say 40 plus compared to 20 plus will tip more I think a higher because the older person has more experience with restaurants and probably appreciates good service I mean 
you know, you go to a good restaurant, you're going to probably get good service, not all the time. But I think younger people, I don't think tipping is, maybe at a bar, I don't know, how does it work at a bar? Do you tip the same if you're buying, uh, you know, if you buy a, uh, a drink at a bar, do you still get 15% compared to 15% sitting down and having a meal? Are there different rules when it comes to bars? There are different rules, right? I even let's say, let's like if you buy a beer, a beer at a bar now is eight bucks, seven dollars. Yeah. Fifteen percent of that is a buck twenty. People leave two dollars, three dollars. But two dollars is like twenty-five percent. Then again, they're not really thinking that when they're in a bar. You know, it's more of a kind of a hot shot atmosphere, maybe where it's like here, keep the change. You know, that kind of attitude. But that's a lot of money they're giving away. Like you think about it, a waitress that serves you, a waiter that serves you in a restaurant that brings you a salad. Main, uh, you know, main course dessert gets fifteen yeah. yeah. percent. Frank, you're forgetting something. Bartender is better looking. Not all the time. <laughs> so it looks has a lot to do with the stiffing too. No, I'm just joking. But I think no, but know. I think you're not joking. I think it's true. It I think if you have a good looking yeah. bartender, a good looking barmaid, you might say, hey, you know what? I'm going to leave her three dollars on a six dollar drink. <laughs> Depends on the person. Depends on the person. But yeah, I think so. Maybe if you had a study. That tested a good-looking bartender and a bad-looking bartender. The, the good-looking one would get more tips. I think so too. Let's let's be let's be real. No, but so too. but why? That shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way. But we're weak, we're weak people. <laughs> You're weak people, but so sex does sell behind a bar counter. Sex sells. That's definitely proven. What about taxes? How much do you have to tip a taxi driver? Well, again, or it should be to tip a taxi driver. That's a good. That's a good question. Whenever I take a taxi, I usually live a you know depending on the the fare, I'll leave a tip. It could be 10, 15 percent. You know, if it's yeah. a you know if it's a fifty fifty dollar fare, I'm not going to leave five dollars. I'll leave maybe two fifty. If it's a ten dollar fare, I'll leave a couple of bucks. Yeah. But why tip a taxi driver? What is he or she doing? She, they're picking you up, driving you yeah. to. From A to B, right. what's the tip? I, I mean, I did he offer weird. you a coffee in, yeah. the, in the in the taxi cab? Did I he agree. say? Right. When the car going slow like that, yeah. I jump the car, I catch the car. Like that. <laughs> you like it? Oh my God. This is my craziest things I do it. That's why I enjoy my job because tourists paying money, I enjoy more than them. I tell all my family problem and everything. End of the tour, they pay me money. My God, what a nice job. I know it's servers though, that they're paid less per hour. So they make their money on, like on, that, tips. on their tips, right? But a taxi driver. Yeah. I'm, I don't, I'm pretty sure he's paid a good wage. And then the but I'll tell you, though. if I'm in a cab and the driver starts talking, is friendly, I don't mind leaving the tip. Right. But if I get into a taxi yeah. and the driver is a robot, right. you know, like, where are you going? And that's it. Right. I'm, I might not leave a tip. But if the guy says, "Hey, uh, how was your flight? Yeah. What's the weather like? Yeah. Are we going to?" If he's pleasant, you know what? Listen, when you do good, good things happen to you. So, but the point is, do you tip taxi drivers, cab drivers? Should they be tipped? I believe use your judgment. You find a good taxi driver that, you know what? And I've taken taxis where they try to give you the scenic route back home. They're not going to get my tip. You know, I've seen the city. I want you to get me home as fast as possible. Yeah. So if you're going to show me the scenic route to get back home and it's going to cost me an extra $10, first of all, I'm going to complain. Second of all, you're not going to get a tip because you're trying to rip me off. Yeah. And I know when I go to a destination, I know that it should take me 10 minutes to get there. Right. If 20 minutes later I'm seeing all the sights of the city, I'm going to tell the cab driver and say, buddy, and today with GPS, there's no excuse. There's, you know, many years ago, you know, a cab driver could make a mistake and take the scenic route or the ocean drive to take you to your hotel. But yeah. now, you know, with GPS, you should be able to get to your destination in the fastest time possible and the cheapest way. So yeah. there's no excuse. But there are taxi drivers that still take advantage of, you know, of people and they won't get any tips. So basically, in the service industry, you're in the service industry, do a good job, most cases, good things will come to you. If you don't do a good job, you don't get a tip, don't be angry, don't be frustrated because that's just not good. That's right. I mean, <laughs> if you give a good service, you'll get a nice tip. If you don't give a good service, you won't get a nice tip.
Come on, you. Cough off a bucket, cheap bastard. I paid for your goddamn breakfast. All right, since you pay for the breakfast, I'll put in. But normally I would never do this. 